Hi there, and welcome to Hypernity. You may notice that I have a time of 18 seconds, and I recorded an 11 minute video on Hypernity that I didn't like, so I am recording it again. I want to make sure that I'm as clear as possible on this because there are a lot of moving parts. If you're familiar with Hypercube, UltraCube, UltraStores, or anything in four dimensions, this will be a cakewalk for you. I don't have to explain anything. If you're new to this, let's start in the axes because these dots can be confusing. First, let's, let's look at this front face, this square. And then if you draw the lines back to it, you can see a cube here, if you connect all the faces. And then there's another cube down here, just for reference. Now I'm going to demonstrate the axes really quickly because this only gives us 60 seconds, and I want to preserve our strikes as much as possible. This cyan to this light pink, this is a positive x direction. This bright red to this cyan is a positive y direction. This green to this cyan is a positive Zulu direction. And this brown to this cyan is a positive whiskey direction. I'm going to click this, see how it moves, and then press X-ray Yankee. Whoa, there's a lot going on. I understand. I felt overwhelmed the first time I looked at this too. We're going to blah 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 discs, blah 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 central button, tesseract, blah blah blah. So once you know how to identify all the axes and how the cube is moving, uh, there are a few components also in submitting the answer. I'm going to review this quickly and then explain it in more detail. If you get two positives, or two negatives, you submit the answer as it is. If you get a positive and a negative, you reverse the answers. So xy is xy, negative x negative y is negative x negative y, and negative xy is yx, if that makes sense. So how do you get these directions? Uh, you can start with any vector you like. You can start with a negative x, a positive x, negative y, positive y, whatever you want. Let's start with a positive direction just for simplicity's sake. So we'll start from this nice uh, dusty pink to this sort of uh, denim blue. So this is a positive x direction we're looking at it. We're asking the question, does it change and what does it change to? Does the vector change? No, it's still pointing in the positive x, so let's choose a different one. The dusty pink to this nice purple. Does this change? Yes, it does. Okay, so that was positive whiskey to... Now it's on the Zulu axis, so that was whiskey Zulu. Once more, we can start on a Zulu if we want and see where it moves. It moves to a negative whiskey. So it's whiskey Zulu, because we reverse it if we started with Zulu. The wonderful part about this module is it doesn't matter where you start from, you will always get the same answer because of the way that the negative reversal works. I'll demonstrate this quickly. X-ray Zulu, or let's try whiskey Zulu like we started from. If we started a whiskey, in this case, we got a positive Zulu. We started at a Zulu, a positive Zulu, we got a negative whiskey. This means that we would reverse it to whiskey Zulu so we get the same answer. We started a negative Zulu, I assume we would get a whiskey, so we'd get a whiskey Zulu. We started at a negative whiskey, we'd get a negative Zulu, so also whiskey Zulu. So these are the four options for looking at a vector and tracking it, and you see we always get whiskey Zulu. That's the wonderful thing about this module. Let's we'll start from this red. Let's just start at positive X on the top since it's nice and right in the front. It's dark red to this pea green. Does this positive x move? Yes, it does. It moves to a positive w. So x, w. Let's review that one more time. Let's start with this positive w. Where does it move? It moves to a, we track it, it moves to a negative x. So we reverse it. Let's try that again. So this is a negative x. Where does it move to? Track this. This is a negative x, negative whiskey. This negative whiskey moves to a positive x. So the answer is always x-ray whiskey. That was all four rotations. You can see it's always turning out to be x-ray whiskey no matter how we start on the vector. Again, 
It's 16 floating discs, two cubes laid on top of each other. Uh, you have the x-axis, which is the left-right, basically, as it says here. The back front, which is the z-axis. I like to think of it as up and down. Honestly, that helps me. The W is the zig and the zag, or the diagonal axis. And the Y is what I would call more of the front and back. But I can see how it is on the cubes. Uh, if you're referring to it as the face, there's specific Z, X, and W faces. Uh, for example, here is a left vector on the X axis. Press it, it moves to a negative whiskey. So positive x-ray, negative whiskey. Let's try that again. Let's try positive whiskey, positive x-ray. So whiskey, x-ray. I'll give you as many examples as you need so hopefully you understand it more. I'll explain it every time. You can start from, I'll explain it again, you can start from any vector you want. You will always get the same answer with these uh, discs. You will always get the same answer with the needy. Um, if you're having trouble identifying which axes are which, remember X is left, right, Z is this uh, front, back, what I would call up and down. Y is this zig, uh, sorry, W is this zigzag diagonal axis. If you look at it head on, you can get a really good idea of this. And Y is the what I would call the front, back, or like the back in front of the cubes, basically, or which one's closer to you. If you look at it this way, you can see that the, the dots are closer one set. So this, positive Y, and this is the back face. So if you press it, maybe we'll get a Y rotation here. So let's start positive X. We do. So you can see that now we have a vector like this coming out of the module towards us. This is a positive y direction. So we started at positive x, and then our vector rotated to a positive y direction. x, y. We can start at y, we will get a negative x direction, meaning we reverse it to x, y. Uh, I'll just keep doing examples. I'll keep explaining my thought process. I won't talk it to death anymore, but what I will do is uh, press the rotation, wait a few seconds, and then I'll allow you to think it through and ask you what you think it'll be. Hopefully we'll get another rotation too. Here we are. Click this. Click it again. Remember, track two dots and remember the vector. And then watch the two dots and see if the original vector changes. So pick a vector like positive Zulu and see where it changes to. See where this arrow changes to. So if you draw the same arrow from these two dots, where does the vector change to? I'm sort of drawing it for you to give you an idea of it. But the, you can see this for yourself. Where does this, so choose any vector, where does it move to? In this case, it's positive Z moving to positive Y. So it's ZY. I would always recommend starting from a positive vector, just because who wants to deal with negatives? Why not start with a positive vector if you can start anywhere on the cube? It'll, if it's not positive x, if it's not positive z, it'll be a wy, and you can see that pretty easily because it'll phase through the cube and the rotations will change. Hopefully we get one more before the timer cuts out, forces us to cut four. This one will be quick if it activates.
I might have to cut the wire here. Got one more really quick by the buzzer example. And I tracked the X axis and saw that it moved to a negative whiskey and I reversed it to whiskey x-ray. Uh, I know that even with all the examples I provided, I know that with the, I explained it to death eight, nine, ten times. If you still don't understand it, I can do the cube more I can do the rotations more, I can explain all the axes again. I would be happy to do an hour of this if it would help someone understand it because I know that when I finally had it explained to me in a way that made sense and finally understood it, it felt like the most wonderful magical feeling knowing that it was always the same answer and that I just tracked the vector. Perhaps I struggled with it more than some, but if you don't understand it, let me know. I will explain it the best I can. I'll release another video on it if it'll help. Or you can watch this one again. Or you can ask somebody else. We have a wonderful community that will be happy to explain this to you. Um, but that's it. Uh, that's how to solve this module. And if you followed all these steps, hopefully uh, you understand Hypernity just a little bit better. <laughs>